has come Come Take me home The Watchman The Watchman The Watchman The Watchman The Watchman The Watchman Hello folks, my name is Minister Curtis Roach. Uh, you will know me from the Watchman radio program. And I would like to read a passage for you from the book of Revelations, chapter 14, verse 14 to 16. And this is a word that the Lord has instructed me to bring to you today. And it reads, And I looked and behold a white cloud and upon the cloud one sat like unto the son of man having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle and another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud trust in your sickle and reap for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. The harvest of the earth is ripe. So the word that the Lord has for you today is that the harvest is ripe and it's time to reap. You've heard me before and I'm sure you've heard many others with a confirmation that the end is at hand, that the coming of our Lord is nigh. And he is saying to you today that the harvest is ripe. It is time for us, the church, to go out there in the byways, all around us, to our neighbors, to our friends and families, to reap that harvest. I have a question. Have you noticed any changes, any radical changes in your church lately? Things being shifted here and there, people being shifted around. This is the Lord at work. The Lord is at work today in this world, in his church. He is shifting things around. He is preparing the church for the time that we are living in. In the book of 1 Peter 4, verse 17, it says, For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. Judgment has begun. The Lord is now doing his work in the church. For the Lord, he's not coming back for a church that is laid back. He's not coming back for a church that is lukewarm. But he's coming back for a church that is ready. A church that is victorious in all that it does. So it is time for us to go out now and preach the gospel. For the harvest is ripe. We see that the Lord, when he is about to do something, he often make preparations before. And the Lord wants us today to prepare ourselves, to prepare our life, to prepare our hearts for this time. And in everything that we do, there is a preparation stage. Just like you see it happening in your church around you, with your family, your friends, with your church leaders, your pastors, your ministers. There is a shifting in the atmosphere. The Lord is making preparations. Just like in the book of Isaiah 18 verse 5 where he says, For before the harvest, when the bud is perfect and the sour grape is ripening in the flower, he will both cut off the springs 
with pruning hooks and take away and cut down the branches. So all that is in the way of progress, if you are not walking in the perfect will of God, if your pastor, if your minister, if your church leader is not walking in the perfect will of God, the Lord is prepared to cut them off, to prune them, to take them out of the way so that his work can be done. So it is up to you now. Do you want to be in that category where you are pruned? Or do you want to be in that category where the Lord can use you, where the Lord can make full use of your life for his glory and not for your own? The Lord, he is doing this thing right now. He is removing the weeds. He is removing the branches and everything that is a hindrance to his work, to his last day work, to the reaping of the final harvest. Make no mistake, my brother. Make no mistake, my sister. For this is our calling. Our main focus in life today should be for souls, for winning souls to the kingdom of God. This is our great commission. And you will read it in the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15 and 16. It says, And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. And the Lord wants us to save souls, to win souls, to go out and win souls for the kingdom of God. To preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and bring in the souls, take them away from the enemy, snatch them out of the enemy's hands, lead them from the way of darkness into the way of light. For this is our commission right now and the Lord, he is now ready for us to do what we are called to do. This is a message that the Lord wants me to bring to you today. The message to the church is to preach the gospel. Don't sit down and wait for people to come to you. If you are grown in a field of crops, you don't expect the crops to uproot themselves out of the ground and come to you. You have to make that move, you have to go out and you have to reap what you need to reap. So don't sit down and wait for people to come into your church. The Lord is instructing us today to go out into the world and to reach the people, to reach the lost, to reach the blind. Open up their eyes and bring them back to where they belong. You'll notice that there are church doors that have been closed by the Lord. It is not just some coincidence. It is the work of the Lord that He is telling you that you need to go out there. Don't be in that frame of mind thinking that the four walls that you sit in on, on a Sunday morning is the church. That is just a structure in which you house your church. But I want to tell you today that the church is you. 
that you are the church that we are the church we the people we are the church and so the Lord wants the church to go and get the people and the message to the individuals in the church in the body of the church is to position yourself where the Lord can make use of you. Position yourself to meet with the Lord. Position yourself so that the Lord can meet with you. Prepare yourself for this end time harvest. Prepare yourself to be used. Do you want to be used by the Lord? The Lord wants to use you. But you have to position yourself. You have to first make the necessary preparations for the Lord to make use of you. Don't be a bystander. Be a partaker of what is happening. The Lord wants to move. Do you want to take part? Or do you want to be the one that is watching on? So I am encouraging you today. To heed this word that the harvest is ripe and the time is now to reap. This is the word that the Lord would like me to bring to you today. And I pray you would have received it in your hearts. Time to move. There's no time to waste. There's no time to be caught up with everything that is in this world. With all the cares of life, there's no time for that now. It is time to reap. It is time for us to get up, to go out there, to win souls. Thus says the Lord. Jesus comes.